Um, okay, now I'm going to show you Mego Hammer figures. I don't have all the figures. They have more. I don't want them. The ones I have, I want. That makes sense. The ones I wanted, I already have. And I wish they would make a Curse of the Werewolf and a few other renditions of the Frankenstein or whatever. But anyway, so we're going to start off with. Let me get this right. The Curse of Frankenstein. This is their rendition. You see the shirt underneath, long cloak, coat, I mean, like trench coat, trousers, and lace-up combat type boots. Now, he didn't have that look. I'm not going to show you mine, but I redid. See, I redid the last two. And we uh, lower that brightness. Just uh, too much brightness. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You see there? It just pops back up again. All right. So anyway, you see how I did the eye to wash it out? And we did the hair. And I changed his shirt to a black sweater um shortened i shortened the coat a little bit so his legs would look a little bit longer like him and i changed him to having these boots instead of the combat boots so i think that overall makes them look makes mine look better than this one All right so just admit it mine looks better and that's that for that character now there's the Dracula. They say this one's from Dracula, Prince of Darkness. And, uh, so that's the look. All right. Let's see. I think I go back to brightening this up a little bit. That's the one thing I can control. I don't have focus, color, t contrast, tint, or anything. All I can do is brightness. And I made my own Dracula. But it's this Dracula is not a redo of this figure. I made this Dracula from redoing the head sculpt to this. I uh, sanded down the scars and redid the hair and painted his face the fleshy tone that you see. As you can see, they're both Christopher Lee. So that's like saying this and this is a good combination. So they're both redone to look more like the characters in the film. And they're both played by the same actor. Okay, now we have Abraham Van Helsing, Professor Van Helsing. Also played by Mr. Peter Cushing. Now you see, okay, let me see. Now see, now it's fading out again. This drives me nuts. Let's see. I want to get it so he's not having such a washed out look. Okay. Now, it wasn't bad. Give me some good to work with. I made my own. Dr. Van Helsing. I toned down the eyebrows. Be a little bit more cloth on the hair. I treated the color of the fur, the correct color. And, oh, yeah. See that? Let me show you too. See, they gave him the same shoes to give the Invisible Man, which is not the right look. Now, see the air? That's much more like the shoes he wore in the movie. And at the beginning of the movie, I probably I did lose a prop. Yeah, it's not that important. I had a little brown derby hat for him. Not a derby, but a different kind of hat. Now I'm mad that it's missing. And the final figure I did was I took a Van Helsing figure and made a Dr. Frankenstein. So I'm just going to show you there, Van Helsing figure to my Dr. Frankenstein. So you can see there's a difference. 
did the cloth of the hair. The uh, trench coat was just something I found because I couldn't, I wouldn't know what to put him in because he's had so many looks in that movie. And of course, I gave him a pair of more appropriate looking shoes. It's really nice looking. And I'm just going to show you my redone Van Helsing next to my redone Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You're impressed. Damn, that looks fantastic. So, we do a quick march of the monsters. There we go. Curse of Frankenstein. My Migo Curse of Frankenstein. There we go, Dracula. My Migo Dracula, which I also did not show you or, or emphasize. So I now have to bring the brightness back up again. The nice, longer coat that he has playing that character. And the black cape is because from the original movie, that's what he wore, an entirely black cape. Ah, look at that. Okay. See how good that looks? Now that looks like the real thing. And let's see. I guess I have to show you. Well. Let me show these all three at the same time. Oh, oh, his string. He's got a string attached. Hey, no strings attached. <laughs> what a funny joke. I don't get it. What it is. There you go. The Peter Cushing characters. And that, well, let me see. You see, the brightness just keeps shifting like that. Okay. And these guys. All right, that's all you need to see. Goodbye.